Hey guys, these are just the quick cliff notes on the new roadmap that came out for Voltan. We made a lot of gold today. We had a lot of fun today. Watch the video. Check me out on the Twitch stream. The little clip here is me doing a, a pretty good flip earlier today, so please enjoy. Oh no, FPK, you're manipulating the market. No! What do you mean? <laughs> what? Yo! Let's get some fucking RMGs, baby! Oh shit. In last month's April and May roadmap, we gave a look at what you could expect in May's major update. In that article, we discussed our approach, find the correct release timing for more endgame content, such as the Vaulton raid and the deck, uh, the Guardian raid. Our player base has reached item level needed to participate. This is the right time for these activities to enter the western shores of Arcasia. Yeah, we hope that the express event missions and extension of the Guardian Raid May event to May 19 will help you progress while still teaching the vast variety of mechanics in the game modes in Lost Ark. As existing fans of Lost Ark know, there are so many new activities, challenges, enemies, and more that have yet to be released, and we can't wait to bring more experiences to Arcasia. We're excited to introduce the first re Legion Raid this month and can't wait to witness your battles against this legendary foe. With that, let's dive into the content arriving in May. Voltan is coming. Legion Raids. There are gates and checkpoints that will save players progress as they advance through the raid. Voltan is an eight player legion raid, has two gates and introduces a swath of new mechanics. Players will need to be item level 1415 to attempt normal difficulty and 1445 for hard. The Voltan legion raid will also introduce a new rarity for gear, uh, relic. Relic gear can be crafted through materials earned in the raid. It provides more impactful blah, 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 blah. I guess I just, um, I do this probably. Guardians are powerful entities that can... Oh, so Descaluda is coming out for 1415. That's sweet. Similar to the rewards in the Voltan Legion Raid, players will also have a chance to earn relic quality accessories from de defeating Descaluda. So that's good. Everyone's going to want to go to 1415. Uh, we've talked about the cataclysmic impact that the warriors have on the battlefield, but nothing embodies this better than the hammer-wielding destroyer. Armed with a variety of skills centered around charging into the heart of the fray, their hammer attacks, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay, so we're gonna get this as well. Additional May content, Challenge Guardian Raids. Challenge Guardian Raids will add a new weekly activity for players looking for a challenge. Each week, players can attempt three ch Oh, this is cool. This is sweet. In each week, one Guardian will rotate up, replaced by a different foe. Differing from a normal Guardian Raid, Challenge Guardian Raids will apply the scale of balance so that your character's item levels will be adjusted appropriately to that of their enemy. Enemy! Dude, this needed to be out so long ago. This needs to be out so long ago. This is actually fucking going to be fun content to play with your friends. And it and hopefully it'll scale. Hopefully it'll scale, you know? And you and you can play with your friends. Maybe you can play uh, with your friends alts in tier two. Maybe your tier three fucking bar paladin can play with your fucking friends tier one gunslinger. That's gonna be awesome. Okay, so new quests. Uh, we're gonna have a chaos line hard mode, a field boss, a chaos gate, a Southburn ghost ship, and Southburn chaos dungeons. Ooh, everyone's gonna be pumping. There's gonna be new guild activities. There's a crispy gold chickens are planning to raid the island. <laughs> wild wings, the wild wings island. <laughs> that sounds sweet. That sounds sweet. Let's see what you guys are saying here. Any tips on trading with a capital of 50k and EUC? Buy greater leap stones before they're gone, I'm sure. That's pretty safe. While being in a guild has been a helpful source of blah, 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 blah. Island siege, raid match, uh, raid match. Enter a base with your guild and challenge the powerful Sign Mail Devourer. Once summoned, you have a limited time to cooperate with your guild and quickly destroy. Oh, that's cool. Here is wardrobe. We're going to get some sweet summer shit. That's cool. Limited events. Uh, we'll be around for roughly a month. That's cool. Players can buy individual items with their character. Right on. May will also introduce the quality of life changes including front and back attack indicators oh that's huge that's huge that's gonna be so much better it's gonna be so much better a lot of people have been wanting that a lot of people have been wanting that the ability to check daily and weekly content participation in a new menu eui updates improved party finder and party invites updated loot dismantling convenience features for the market auction house what does that mean what does that mean you guys convenience features for market and auction house 
What does that mean? Including a recent rework of the Destroyer Advanced class to increase his impact on the battlefield, Smilegate RPG recently released a balance patch on many of the advanced classes to tune, update, and further define these classes' roles on the battlefield. We'll provide more specifics for players unfamiliar with these changes in the release notes. But okay, okay, all right. So we're excited to the new activities coming to Arcadia later in May. So third week of May, 19th or 25th. It means we can finally filter the fucking negative stat on engravings. Oh God. That'd be cool, yeah. Players attempt the first Legion raid, participate in more endgame content, and watching Guild for Skilled action ramp up. We know that the players are always curious what's on the horizon. Now we've un that we've unlocked Voltan, Descaluda, and more endgame content. Oh yeah, Voltan, Descaluda, and more endgame content for May. We'll be taking a look at the roadmap for summer and share a glance later this month at our plans. As always, we'll continue monitoring player data and feedback. So they're saying, so guys, what they're saying in, the, in this is that they're saying the majority of players or enough players have reached the ability to do Voltan. And they're not going to give like really anything else. They're, they're like, again, if we look up here, like what you get is what you get, motherfuckers. You know, we feel that enough of our player base has reached the item level needed to participate. And you have decided this is the right time for these activities to enter the western shores of Arcasia. Uh, you know, because there's this fucking event, these events that they're doing, right? Um, they're saying continue to enjoy the journey of exploration and challenging yourself at your own pace. For newer players eager to hit the high levels required to participate in endgame activities, we hope that the Express Event missions and extension of the Guardian Raid event to May 19th will help you progress. So, that's good fucking news. Good news. That's great news. Watch this fucking shit blow up. What did I, you know, watch this shit blow up. 105 wall. We will probably see this gone today. End this one.